Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about why my perspective is so different from Tolarian Community College and Wedge from the Mana Source. I will start with Wedge. Uh, Wedge does not have a local game store. I grew up in a local game store. I had many local game stores, including Wizards of the Coast, their own store in Exton Square Mall. I used to go there all the time right next to JC Penney's and that's where we played. But even before then, there was this small store next to a flower shop. The store is probably, I don't know, 800, 1000 square feet. And they would just cram all the little kids in there and we would play on the ground. There was no chairs. It was quite interesting. And the prices were really high, but as a little kid, you didn't know all of that stuff, right? This was before MTG Finance. So that's how I grew up. I grew up playing Magic in uh, elementary school at my friend's place. I remember opening some portal to play uh, and teaching my friends how to use, play Magic with original portal. I remember going, you know, playing in every lunch period, every uh, sleepover. We had plenty of sleepovers, and you invited everyone to your sleepover, even the people who didn't, you really didn't like. Because at the end of the day, we're all Magic players. We're all part of a community. So that's how I grew up with Magic. Magic was always, even during like uh, college and grad school, Magic was a community. I played with my floor mates at NYU, University Hall. And we used to go to this place in Midtown. Uh, very beautiful place. I, I don't believe they're around anymore. We had a great time. Uh, we had a excellent time playing Magic, and that's part of the community. Now, a lot of the people, including Weds, who are big proponents of it, are at a Mana Leak. They don't have game stores. Weds buys all his cards from Walmart, and he doesn't have a local game store. In fact, he is anti -local, anti local game store because he's recommending you buy all your cards at GameStop. And the same with Tolarian Community College, uh, he's sponsored by Card Kingdom and or Channel Fireball. Therefore, it doesn't make sense for him to say shop at your local game store because theoretically it would be making him less money. So you have um, people who are the most popular YouTubers by size and they reach a wide audience and they're telling people don't go to your local game store. I don't have a local game store buy from Walmart, and I think that is the big divide. That's why I don't really, I'm not going to look up to Weds or to Larian Community College. There's many reasons I wouldn't do so, one of them being professionally. I don't think that they have, uh, they have uh, shown that they can deal with reality very well. They live in this little bubble of theirs, and the bubble is always an echo chamber of you're amazing to Larry and you're amazing you're amazing and you're amazing and then when you hear that enough you do think that you're amazing uh, Tolarian has already forgotten what it's like to get a card to spoil and how exciting that is now he wants Wizard of Coast to you know pay them for uh, his marketing uh, he wants Channel Fireball to give him a stipend in addition to and he's asked for this publicly on Twitter that's like the crazy part is like if they kept it only magic on Twitter, you wouldn't actually know what their political leanings are. But because their Twitters are just completely uh, political, you know that uh, they're both very left-leaning and they both believe in uh, a lot of uh, kind of, in my opinion, crazy stuff, but that's just me. So, yeah, that, that I can't reconcile my attitude towards magic i played magic forever i have the collection to back it up i have the empty booster boxes i have the empty mirage tournament packs i have all of this stuff because i played magic for longer than these two combined and when i was playing magic i didn't play it for my youtube channel i didn't play it to make money i didn't even know what mtg finance was until uh, I, I think i until law school, really, because even in college, I didn't really care because who cares? You're in New York City. Why would you care about magic card prices at that point? So, I mean, your, your rent, there's no way that you would make it up your rent in magic cards, right? So back to 
uh, why I just don't get along with him is I can't understand like Tularean Community College. He says he said in the past he supported local game stores, but then every single time a video is sponsored by CardKingdom.com. And what is Card Kingdom trying to sell you? Are they trying to sell you stuff? Uh, Ultra Pro for the command zone, they're trying to sell you something, right? And the more that something you buy, the more money that Tolarian gets, or the more likely that they will continue their relationship with him. So he's at odds with the majority of the community, or the community I grew up with, which is support your local game store. In Williamsburg, we had one game store. It was called Groovy Geckos. It went out of business multiple times. I would only I was in law school for three years. It went out of business six or seven times during that period. And you know, these people did it for the love of the game store. Now, were they business minded people? Were they business savvy? Did they understand how cash flow worked? No. They didn't. They just had a game store because they loved it. I mean, they were not well they were not well equipped uh, from a business sense to run a store. But they worked 80 hours to make sure that store was open. I remember uh, Graham, the owner of the store, one of the owners of the store, would give the keys to this guy named Devin, and we would play until 2 a.m. at night, or 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. at night. We would just play ED8's game after ED8's game, and it was so many different people. It was a guy uh, from the military, it was a veteran, it was a guy actively in the military, it was a guy who worked at Target. It was two people who worked Chili's. I went to law school. My friend went to vet school. Another dude also was at the vet program at William and Mary. And we all got along with each other. Like, we all got along with each other. And um, there was kids, of course. Kids. Um, and there was this old guy who was, like, 70 years old. And we all played E-Dates. We all had fun. And that was the beauty of magic. And unless you have that experience, it's so odd for me to think about the mana source talking about community. Uh, his definition of community is people who donate money to him. Like, I'm not even lying to you. That's the community because what else would he know? This is a guy who has been very vocal about having IBS and he cannot travel. Uh, the fact that he went to GP Vegas and GP Star City Con, I mean, that should have been surprising, right? Because um, according to him, his IBS is so severe that he can't work a regular job. He can't work a normal job. And hence, that's why he needs donations. So I'm never going to get this. I'm never going to understand Tolarian. I'm never going to understand the Weds because they, you know, their definition of community is very vastly different from how I would define community. Uh, and I, it's so strange to me that like people talk about this community and you've never seen them. You've never seen... How many of you guys have actually seen either Wedge or Tolarian? How many times have you guys played a game with them? That's not your community. Like, your com magic community is the people that you see every uh, week, every f &M, you play some EDH with them, you talk with them, you get to know about them a little bit. And maybe you go to Chili's during pre-release. I think that's the beauty of magic is... Uh, it makes complete strangers anywhere you can try. I can go to San Francisco and I can find a game store and I can play a game with them. Anywhere in the U.S. or internationally, you can go and play Magic with a bunch of strangers, even if it's a different language. And that's the beauty of Magic. That's the community, right? So this online community where I think the majority of people who are very popular, including Wed, says they don't own the cards to play the game. They don't. Um, I will blanket tell you from the deck text that Wedge has done and the top five, top ten list that he has done, as a old school player who's been playing for F since beta, this is not a guy who plays Magic. Uh, uh, it's... You know, it's uh, very surprising. And then this inclusiveness and this um, including. So, I mean, this tweet by Weds about Pitbulls, I think one of the best examples of what actually they think. So Weds tweets this, does Weds own a Pitbull? I don't know. I assume not because he doesn't have any pictures of a dog. And, you know, if it's a Pitbull, 
if it's a dog that he owns, is it his family? Is his mom's dog? His dad's dog? His sister? Is it someone else's dog, or is it his dog? But I do know that um, his ex girlfriend wanted to get a cat, and she has a cat now after breaking up with him, and a cat was not allowed. So I assume that there's also no dogs allowed. And you might ask, like, why does, does that matter? Like, it matters because he's getting the likes. He's getting. It, this is not a guy who has fostered a pit bull. This is not a guy who has worked at an animal shelter and then now he has. You know, I suppose if he had a pit bull, he would post a picture of him with the pit bull, right? It is wedge. He's looking for attention, uh, but he's going to post something like uh, a straw hat argument. I hate it when everyone says that all pit bulls are mean. Like, okay, name one person who said that to you, Wedge. Name one person who said that to you. And I have so many friends with pit bull. Name one friend with a pit bull, Wedge. Show me a picture. Like, this is the type of statement that Wedge and Tolarian make. And on its surface, it sounds really good because it gets lots of likes and retweets. But then, like, you're like, wait a second. I really don't know how else to put it except it's fake it's so fake for you to send that tweet and i i get offended by that because i know that wedge has he's not going to volunteer at an animal shelter he's not going to help any pit bulls i made a funny video not even a funny video it was like semi-serious video let's get wedge a pit bull let's i will cover the expenses and he would be saving a life Pit bulls are incredibly hard to foster out. They're incredibly hard to, uh, um, to, for them to be adopted. If it's an adult pit bull, the adoption rate, at least in Houston, for the places I've worked, is less than 10%. If it's a puppy pit bull, it's around 80% just because it's a puppy. But a ton of those puppies come back in a year or two. Same puppy, microchipped, because, you know, owners. Um... So yeah, I guess that's my that's my rant against Weds and Tolarian is I don't think they are, they are real. Um, I just don't. My gut feeling tells me that a lot of this, if not all of it, is scripted because all their videos are scripted. Every single one of their videos is scripted, um, and if you look at Tolarian's tweets, they're they use literary devices. It's not an ordinary person saying what they feel like. It's a person who's manipulating the English language to get you to donate to him. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.